Hello guys, Zuljin here and welcome back to another episode of Cardinal Quest 2. Guys, thank y'all so very much for all the awesome support on the Cardinal Quest 2 series. As always, if you do enjoy the videos, make sure to give me some dap on that like button to show you support for the series. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. We are due for a paladin run. Now, let me tell you a little bit about this paladin. He kind of sucks. <laughs> So I'm going to play through Act 1. I know most of you think, well, it's time to rotate in 3. Yeah, I would I would rotate in 3 if he didn't suck so bad. <laughs> so he doesn't really suck. It's just his beginning abilities aren't good. So unless RNG treats you pretty good, then it ain't nothing. So Forbidden Arts, holy swap, swap Holy Armor for Mania, a magic spell that forces targets to wound themselves and allies. The difference between this and Holy Armor is, well, let's just face it. <laughs> Charm is not that powerful. It, it's okay, but it's not that great. And I, this version of it is terrible. So I, I tried it before. I'm not going to go with it. I'm going to stay with the Holy Armor. And as far as this, this is actually a pretty good deal. Lucy is starting offering in a return for extra gold and an armor patch. And I'm going to go ahead and go with create. We're going to go with normal because everything else seems a little bit daunting. I tried two or three playthroughs already on the Paladin. And I ended up not posting them because they were just kind of rough. All right. So, Holy uses Faith, gives 3 defense, and plus 1 for Thorns. And uh, I, I think it's a lot better. We have this Reinforcement Patch that gives us some armor, so I think we're going to go ahead and use that when we get a decent piece of, um, of I guess you can say, a, a, a decent chest piece. Alright, so let's go ahead and use our Defense Plus. And it did help just a little bit with thorns. Okay, let's see. This brings up our attack and our faith by that's three points altogether, but would reduce our damage. Priest, solid staff, sanctified oak. I don't really want to reduce our damage for an increase in faith when it's only for holy armor, so I'm going to go ahead and trash it for the 25 gold. I think that's the best deal. We've already taken a significant amount of damage. So, not that great. And the only piece of armor that we got that we could have improved was pretty much the same thing as we already had. Not the best deal. I'm not going to fly through this content, but I'm, I really hope that we get one of those testing files so that we can use it for um, the Alchemist Unlock. Because, to tell you the truth, guys, I'm almost finished with this playthrough. Like, it's not getting a whole lot of views, unfortunately, but I still want to finish it. Okay. This gives three health, so I'd like to at least unlock all the characters and try endless mode or something like that. There we go. All right, is this it? No, that's anti venom. I was hoping that was like the sampling vial. All right, um, let's do holy armor here. Uh, whoa! I just went right through him. Oh, the thorns must have got him. Okay, intellect up, magic resist. This is the same. We'll go ahead and take that. All right, I need an orb, guys. Drop me an orb. Found an exit. Good. Um, I need to stay with this defense. Let's go ahead and... Okay, scroll of mapping. We'll go ahead and use it. And we're going to use this, too, the treasure find. Okay, there's a couple more pieces I need to get. And I'll check to see what... Um, what now? What are you buying? Oh, I was going to say, why aren't you letting me buy? Oh, we'll definitely take heal. Can I buy it? Um, robust leather. Yes, we can buy that. And we're going to put it in slot two, and we're going to use it immediately. Okay, and there's also magic mirror, which I want to take. It's not great skill, but it's better than nothing. Um, and pretty much creates a duplicate of yourself. So it will help mitigate some damage. In fact, I'm going to use it right now. And I'm going to use Holy Armor as well. Oh, it does attack for us too. I was thinking that it was something else. It's actually a lot better than Charm. Okay, we leveled up. So these are the things that we could bring up. We could bring up Purity, which brings up Faith and kind of charges our stuff up. Let's see. This also uses Faith and this uses Intellect. That's actually a pretty good deal, most likely. Holy Light. Upgrades Holy Armor. Holy Light lasts for longer and has a chance to blind nearby enemies. And Consecrate will converting into a legendary weapon of its class and be considered a weapon damage if some... Oh, now that's pretty darn good. Wrath of God is a faith-based deal, I think. Previous By previous talents, 4 to 10 damage. That looks really cool, too. Righteous Fury. 
Okay, so we have to go down this path to get that. But it's level 6. New skill deals great damage to all visible enemies, but also deals some damage to yourself. That would pair up really well with heal. Man, 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 man. And it's either or. So... We can go Holy Light. Let's see. Consecrate your equipped weapon, converting it into a legendary weapon of its class. The consecrated weapon's damage will increase every time you level. That's actually really, really good. But I think we're going to get weapons as we go anyway. I'd like to get this Wrath of God skill. So, I'm going to go this route, guys. I'm going to go this route, and I'm sorry. Uh, judgment. It's either Righteous Fury or Judgment. Dang, man. Okay. Yeah, I think, I think we've chosen our path. We're going to go with that anyway. All right. We're not too, I'm not too worried about health at this time now. All right. Let's get the last chest here. Actually, second to last chest. We're going to trash that again. We still didn't get any armor to talk about. This will increase our speed. That's good. All right. We don't have to map everything out because we got to scroll the mapping. And we should be good to go. Area cleared. All right, let's see what else we got. The forest. Okay, magic mirror. And oh, that does. Oh, so every skill cost me life? I think that's what just happened. No, I didn't take any health damage. Huh, I thought I took health damage. Thought that's what I saw. Oh well. Holy armor. Nice. Yeah, I don't know what that was all about then. Uh, mana potion? Eh, I don't think we need that yet. Not yet. Okay. Scroll of mapping, we'll go ahead and use that. Okay. See a scavenger? Good. Why don't you buy stuff from me? Oh, maybe it's because there's still things in the area. Raise my defense up. All right, health orbs. Okay, what can I buy from this guy? I can buy Enfeeble, which is too expensive. This will give me superb chainmail, attack, and faith. I'm going to go ahead and buy those. And this is a potion of speed. I'm going to pass on that. All right. We'll go ahead and use that. There we go. All right. So nothing else there. I'm going to let that other guy come to me, I guess. Try to get this chest. Ooh. Paramount's Folly is damage 1 to 4, intellect up by 3, polystrike. Polystrike, chance to polymorph enemies whenever you hit them. <laughs> I don't know how good that is, but it is an increase in damage and intellect, so we're going to take it. 85 gold is the trash value. Wow. Well, it's better than what we have. For a 3 intellect bonus, that's really, really good, actually. Alright, where's this... Uh... Oh, and my stuff just wore off. That's okay. Okay. So next, uh, let's see. Can we get Righteous Fury yet? Killing an enemy guarantees your next successful attack within a short period will be a critical hit. And we've already selected that. Good. And Wrath of God is next, but it's minimum level of 6. So it's going to be a little while before we can get that. That's okay. Alright, Potion of Rage. Let's just go ahead and use it. And that gave us some health orbs. And it wore off. And we just got the HP orb in time. Alright. Stealth brings up by one, but speed down by two. I guess we'll equip it. Speed is good, but stealth is too, so. Holy uses faith. Fear. We will definitely we all about the faith, man. RNG is treating us pretty good. Um we're gonna go ahead and swap out this mana potion for it, and we'll use the mana potion instead of just leaving it there. Alright. We're gonna use fear. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I've never had um I've never had fear with a faith faith based character. It's pretty neat. We're gonna get a good recharge time on that. Not that fear is the best skill in the world, but it's pretty darn good. All right, what else do we got? We got any treasures over here? I'm just interested in any last minute treasure chest that we may have. Uh, I don't think so. I think that's pretty much it, you guys. I could check up here right quick. And nothing. Alright. 
confirmed my <laughs> confirmed my first thoughts. We're gonna go ahead and get out of here. So far, so good. The first map is is not that bad. The third map, I tried it, like I said, two three times, and it was it was killing me all for real. I've been playing this on mobile a lot too. I don't know if I said that last time. All right, let's magic mirror and let's fear and let's holy armor too. Wow! Heal? Man, this is nasty. Okay. Here's where we really start digging into it. Hardy Axe gives us one more max and minimum damage. Two more health. Brings down their attack by one. And takes away that Polystrike Strike ability. Now, I don't know how good that Polystrike Strike is, even though it's cool. We don't really need the intellect as much as we need the damage. I'm going to go ahead and equip this. I'm going to go ahead and do it. I know it probably isn't the best decision in the world. Come back here. All right. Magic mirror. Oh, actually, you know what? Fear. Magic mirror. This could be bad. Thank goodness for thorns, man. Woo! Level up. Okay. Wrath of God. I don't want Wrath of God. Let's go ahead and... Should we bring up precision or purity? Let's go ahead and do precision. We're gonna go for the glass cannon route a little bit. Alright. This is health up by two. Stealth down by one. We'll take that. Even though I said stealth is good early, it is good. But on a fighting base character, health is really good too. 25, I think, would be a good number to try to stay around, and we're not quite there. Alright. All that's dead ends. That's fine. Uh, okay. Fear. Magic mirror. Okay. Time to use thorns. Not that bad. Oh, I should have used the anti-venom. I didn't even realize, but the poison wore off now. We can heal again, though. That was a stealth attack. I don't know if y'all noticed that. Defense up by two, held down by three. I think that's a really good trade-off. Defense is good. If I had a breastplate, I would definitely use this patch here. But I'm, I'm, I'm holding out until I get something reasonable. Blinding powder, we'll go ahead and use on this guy just to mitigate damage, if at all possible. Teleport away is not a great skill for me, but I'm gonna take it anyway, just because I have an open slot. All right, so how do I feel about this run? I think it's gonna be okay. I really do, I think we're gonna do fine. Potion of Reflection, I'll go ahead and use it just for giggles. Nothing that we really wanna keep there. Um, yeah, I feel pretty good about it. I think we're gonna do quite well. It's only the, um, the Minotaurs that we have to fight, so I think we'll do okay on those. Now, if this would be the dragon or that eyeball thing, I don't think it would go that well. Okay, but equipment and stuff is starting to pay off. It's getting a little bit easier to deal with. This Righteous Fury is kicking in every single time. Speed, bring up by two. Stealth up by one. Two points of health. I mean, that's a really, really good increase. I'll trade that for two points of health. I will, because it's a three-point total, and stealth has helped me a little bit. So, I really wish I'd be around 25 health, but... There's going to be some higher end items that we're going to get into real, real soon. Alright, and I found the exit. We're going to go ahead and take it. And we're in the town. Okay, what is this? Blink? Transports you to a random location. I don't think I want that. Teleport away is... Uses intellect. I think... This is a little bit better. Like, instead of me teleporting into possibly a bad area, I can teleport a monster away if I need some crowd control. Alright. Such like this. And it resisted, so that's a bad... Okay, he's feared now. Or she's feared now. Let's go ahead and enable... My thorns. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Alright, this is Rune Sword. Brings up intellect, speed, and attack, but I sacrifice health 
And damage. No, not even close. We are not interested. Okay, use. We're gonna use that for treasure. Oh my. Hi! Righteous Fury. Good. Beautiful. Okay, now we're starting to roll a little bit. I like this. Okay. Three health but one defense. Earlier it was two for one, right? I think three for one's a good deal, actually. And let's level up. Can we bring Wrath of God yet? No. What level are we? We're five. Okay, so next one we'll be able to do it. Righteous Fear is helping out huge, by the way. We're going to bring up Precision by another one. And we're going to move forward here. Okay. Fear. Oh, it resisted anyway. Magic Mirror. Beautiful. Alright, that sucked a little bit. Let's go ahead and give ourselves some heal, some health. Alright. We can probably magic mirror right here. It looks like it hurts me when that happens, but maybe not. Good lord, he did a lot of damage to me. I should have used holy armor. I'm kind of slacking here. Thirty-three percent XP for a heal. It does hurt me, man. Alright, I think 30% XP is going to be really, really hard to do. It does hurt me when I use that ability. Let's see, right now I have 5 out of 23 health, right? Okay, it shattered. I'm going to use fear. Okay, that did not do anything. Now, that hurt me. I know it did. Yes, I'm at 3 out of 21. So, <laughs> I have to watch it. Alright. Why? That's so weird. I guess instead, anything that brings mana? No, because... Oh, anything intelligence-based. Instead of mana, it does... It takes... It takes health. Well, that's kind of rough. Alright, I'm going to have to use my heal potion here. As much as I hate to... Well, no. I could use offering. Recharges holy spells and 25% health. I'm gonna use offering instead. Okay. Alright, Righteous Fury kicked in. This is an equipment boost for faith and intellect. But bringing down health and defense, I'm gonna trash it. Not worth it to me. And I can heal now because I got the XP required. Alright. We're not taking this either. Because that's for a thief, really. Will you hit him already? Sheesh. Okay. Brings up three health, but attack and faith down. Nope, we're gonna trash that. Alright. I'm gonna fear this guy. That's gonna take health from me. I didn't think these intellect items would do that. <gasps> Whoa! He hit me hard! Good lord! Well, there's the, get, there goes the Ankh. Dang! Okay, six health points. Down two speed and one stealth. Uh, you know what? I think At this point, I think I need the health. I know it's not a great trade, but... Alright, let's hope we get some good stuff. Well, I felt great about the run, and now I'm not so sure. <laughs> now I'm not so sure. It's getting kind of sour all of a sudden. Okay, nothing in there. Nothing in here. Let's find that guy that we almost killed. I found the exit. Mm -mm. I want to kill this last guy for the XP. Might as well. He killed me. I want vengeance too. Oh, no you don't. Yeah, Righteous Fury. Alright, that's all of them. Now I can properly go to the next portion of the level. We're going to make this one a little long, you guys. No, actually, no. We're at 30 minutes for the run already. The video probably went on a little bit longer than that. When we come back next time, guys, we're going to go through the keep and then the next level and then the boss level. So I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me some dap on that like button to show you support for the series. 
and you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos guys. Thanks so much for watching as always this is Ulgen signing off and we'll see you next time.